Hello. Forgotten Prime here. <clears throat> I've been sitting here for the past 15 or so minutes debating on making this video or not. <clears throat> when I clicked on this, I didn't realize how much stuff I had accumulated on this one subject. And then I started looking through my videos. All I do is bitch. I, I, I realized I'm a lot like my dad. I bitch. Damn. But the thing is, from my point of view, I'm bitching from the heart. My dad just bitches because of the fact that nothing worked out for his life. Oh well. I, I wish I had a lot more in my life, but I'm not going to bitch, moan, and groan and say, Hey, somebody help me get my uh, dreams done. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it myself. It's going to take me fucking forever to do it, but it will be done at my own fucking pace. And yet, everywhere I look, I see people scrambling around trying to take, 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 take. Uh, stop being fucking greedy. Our planet and our people have become so petty and so fucking ignorant. I I'm like, oh my god. I know I have issues with people, but I don't take it to the fucking internet, to Twitter, to make other people's lives a living fucking hell. I don't do that. Why are you? Why? It, it solves nothing. It helps nothing. And then I start thinking, wait a minute, you're not doing that because of the fact that you want to help. You want to continue the chaos. So here is my P's and Q's for your chaos. One in particular, Captain Marvel. Let's talk about Captain Marvel, feminism, and fragile fanboy angst. Give it up. Give it up right now. Okay, so this lady, Brie Larson, is an actress. Good reviews out of festivals give small independent films a fighting chance to be bought and seen. Good reviews help films gross money. Good reviews slingshot films into awards contenders. A good review can change your life. It changed mine. I, only way you'd get a good review from me is if you'd res, respected me from the word fucking go. When you said... must all think the same way about the same things. Brie, films get good reviews when they're good. We are expanding to make films that better reflect the people that buy movie tickets, but they are not allowed enough chances to read public discourse on these films by the people that these films were made for. They're not allowed. Made for? Made for? Made for? Made for? Just like this guy right here. He's poking the same holes in everything you fucking say, Brie. Stop films. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. I thought films were made for everyone. I truly thought films were made for everyone. Dave Cullen, you're a god, in my opinion. When he, However... You're not a guy. You're just a human. You actually see through the bullshit. 
Thank you. In success for Captain Marvel, a defeat in Trolls. Fuck you. Smash success, Captain Marvel. Shows the conservative alt-right. Uh, hello? I'm not fucking political. Oh, I ended up with that twice. <laughs> what the fridge? My bad. Kree and Scrolls were actually both bad guys. You turn the Scrolls into Mexicans. Give it up. Take your politics and get it out of my fucking stories. Yes, there has always been a bit of politics in new stories, especially comic book based stories, from the word go. But they were made in the freaking story. When the guys put these stories together, they thought it out. They took their time. They figured, okay, let's see what happens if we throw these out there on the market. Some people liked it. Some people hated it. And they went with the flow. They actually adjusted their books to fit the true fandoms that actually were reading their comic books because they wanted their stuff to sell. This, what you're shoveling out, the only people who are going to be making money is people who are going to be bootlegging the fuck out of this stuff. How'd that get mixed in there? Rotten Tomatoes? You guys are also shilling for them. I don't. I didn't even know the word until like a couple of months ago. I, the amount of insanity. This comic book, so sexist it is and silly. It's like, that's not a chick. That's a man. You want a a, a man woman? By all means, find us an island, send all of us men over there, and you can have artificial insemination. Fuck you. Apparently, Marvel movies support a SJW agenda, so let's have a MCU marathon. Uh. The more you guys talk, Captain Marvel is fun and most of the negative reviews are written by men. Shocking. Captain Marvel's bright new future. Captain Marvel's soundtrack demonstrates the power of girl power. Captain Marvel has landed, so have the trolls, but she strikes back. We need to learn from, uh, learn how to be constructively women, but about female leads. Uh, she's good, she's not. She's human, she's a piece of wood. Or a robot. Or a... Th yeah. That's... Th she's a, the female version of Pinocchio. Holy crap. Yeah. Bree the Pinocchio Larson. That's the new nickname that I would love to see get put out there. Bree Pinocchio Larson is being puppetized for their agendas. I have... I feel sorry for Brie right now. I really do. She's not going to be able to get rid of the stink for the rest of her career now. Because the fact that we, as in me, and all the other fans who despise bad writing. Bad writing. 
bad writing. And yet, the slinging continues. Both sides. One people say, okay, Shazam's the best Mar Captain Marvel. DC bought out the title before Marvel did. Oh, well... That's the only time I think that she actually looks like she has any emotion on her face. Anytime. And then when I found out that she was in Kong Skull Island, I'm like, I don't even remember her being in there. I remember a chick being in there, but she was that un uh, un unnoticeable for me. That says something. The uh, uh, the film for me the only thing that I, it stuck out in my mind the most was Jack Black Samuel L. Jackson being a a hey, badass and Kong beating the flicking shit out of dinosaurs over and over and over and I'm like oh my god if this is actually tied in with King Godzilla, I'm like, oh, the battle that's going to be coming on, and the understanding. I, I, I people can shoot me down right now, please. But I, I, I have this gut instinct that the two creatures that actually give a shit about the little creatures that are on this planet in that timeline is Godzilla and King Kong. I think those two are going to have fun beating the crap out of the other bad guys. I know King Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, I, or I might even pronounce his name wrong. Please forgive me. But the biggest badass of badasses, I have a feeling he's going to take a, take a pit and fight and start heading straight for uh, Godzilla. I have no doubt. King Kong is going to get involved in there and he's going to yank on the other dude's tail, the tail, dude's tail and say, I, I want to get into this fight. That's what I'm looking for. And if you guys nerf it, uh, yeah, bought by Disney. Here's my proof. 71% drop, 41% drop, 69% drop. I, I, I'm hoping that nobody buys anything this weekend of yours. Especially, especially this film. You don't deserve a billion dollars. You don't, Disney. You guys have failed, in my opinion. You guys called in a favor to a guy who runs Rotten Tomatoes to have the ability to comment removed. When all the people saw all the negative feedback from Bray's mouth, you guys had to prevent any more negativity. So you guys had to put the hype train on. And it's still on. And then now the new hype train is the opposite. You guys have no re re idea of how fast your guys' core audience that you were trying to ballpark that film to turned on you. You put a little makeup on her and they turned on you. I can't wait till they tear you apart. And they take everything from you. I am so fucking sick of all the lies that you guys shove into our mouths. And then these m magazines are for rich people! I'm not even fucking rich! And yet I feel like I'm one that's... <laughs> uh, I'm a poor person. I'll be honest. I'm not so certain about this one.
but yet with the way you ball push her as the face, they never pushed ever. They never ever did what you are doing with Captain Marvel. They they they, they never did this with Captain uh America. They never did this with Iron Man. They never tried to shove this down our throats. This is a great guy. He's got a badass armor. We have to go see it. They didn't do that. Why are you guys acting like children? And then you call us fucking children when we call you back out on it. She could not beat Sp uh, Superman. Period. And near no dimension. I don't care what any of you say. This version of Captain Marvel is a fucking pussy. Who deserves to be stomped into the ground. Repetitively. Not Brie Larson. The character that they created for her. I'm not happy. The Shut up. You guys keep chilling to your own tweets. To your own band, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, not my Miss Marvel. I hope that you don't go any further, but that's a hope. This jack of many trades is very angry. And he is not impressed. And he wants you out of his hobby. If you got politics or agendas or goals to force your own opinions on others, get out of the fucking industry now. Because I'm not going to spend my money on your films. I will spend my time and effort every day if I have to. To make a video every day. Stating why people should not buy into this. Because. They'll be wasting their money. And in my opinion wasting money. Is a very bad thing. And making this movie, it was such a waste. They cannibalized Captain Marvel. I was expecting something better. And you gave me a lemon. I am going to label these in the opposite from now on because it seems that the only way to get you guys to notice bad press is to label it good. I am so disappointed in every fucking one of you who fucking watch the news, who fucking watches the fucking TV and sucks up all this fucking nonsense. And accepts it. I. Nah. I'm done. Wake up people. Wake up world. Because the next step. 
They continue this path. All hobbies are dead. They are comic books industry is dead. They can kid themselves all they fucking want. Nobody's gonna buy a comic book that's got agendas in it. It's been proven time and time again. This is Forgotten Prime. Jack of Many Trades. Super Otaku. With great power comes great responsibility. And Disney, you fucked it up. Online boycotts of a movie proved totally effective, and he has like the laughing face. Yeah, of course it didn't affect the numbers. This Did it? Didn't it though? I don't think it should, would have been bigger. Could it? Could it have been? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, I mean, because this is what happened with Black Panther too, and I don't think you could say that it affected Black Panther's I don't, it numbers didn't, I don't, at all. I think it was a different thing with Black Panther um, because, and and you know, I will say this about the the Rotten Tomato stuff, where you can call trolls and you can say everything else, but you know, having been inside that Star Wars world, when you look at the the reviewed numbers for the Last Jedi and then the audience score for the Last Jedi, they are polar opposite. Right. But I agree with the audience reaction not the critic reaction right so that's one example where i look at those numbers and i'm like the reviews are the ones that are bogus right not the audience score so how brie larson rolled this out i mean i i like brie larson i think she's talented i can't wait to see captain america um but captain marvel, captain marvel yeah. sorry i can't wait to see captain marvel um i think she's she's awesome i've always thought she's awesome but i thought that the way that she sort of rolled this out when she started in with the um i don't want white males you know doing all my press stuff and i don't want this what winds up happening is everybody else who's sort of in that marvel universe they all realize that they have their personal feelings towards things, but the characters they play and the world they play them in are bigger than themselves. Right. And I, I, I think that it was an overstep for Brie Larson with fans to sort of take that, make it personal, make it all about her when the characters are bigger than that. Because audiences did not have this reaction when it was Wonder Woman. Right. You know what I mean? There was no anti-female this with Wonder Woman because people love the character Wonder Woman. People love the character Captain Marvel. It's just what they say in the lead up to it. And it turns a lot of people off. And if they don't care that it turns a lot of people off, that's fine. Do it. I'm not saying don't do it. Live your life. But you have to expect this kind of stuff. And when negativity happens, you can't just blame it on trolls who don't know what they're talking about. Uh, Shirley says, I love the movie entirely. Uh, and he says the trolls are desperate and scared of a woman in the strong world. That's not true. I, I highly disagree with you. Okay. And, I'll, and, I'll tell, and I'll tell you why. Um, one, it didn't happen with Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, People embraced effect. Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. They embraced the character Wonder Woman. That movie did incredible at the box office. It didn't happen. It's when the actors or the publicity machine start dismissing the audience which is what they did with Captain Marvel. Because I'll tell you right now, all the fanboys who are accused of being trolls, right, to say that they won't embrace a female star in these movies is so wrong because I guarantee every single one of them that's being accused of a troll loves Sarah Connor and loves Ripley from Alien. Those are two movies that they grew up on and watched repeatedly that are both led by women and it never mattered. It's only when the narrative becomes you're not important to a, a specific audience that that's when you get these so-called trolls coming out. Because it didn't happen with Wonder Woman, it never happened with Terminator, and it never happened with Alien. And it's the same fans. Well, we have to wonder too, I mean, social media wasn't a thing back then, right? But fans are fans though. You, you Then a boycott would happen. You wouldn't go see these movies. I would have Alien on every single format Alien was ever released on if I didn't want to watch a movie with a woman. Right, but if the social media boycott had really been affected with Captain Marvel, it wouldn't be the, the sixth biggest opening in the, in the world ever, or the seventh biggest Marvel movie, or the third But it could have been number one, you don't know. I know, but you, yeah, well, you don't know what well, happened no, if, but if you, Twitter no, was but, around when aliens no, came no, but out you, or but, Twitter, but it's not, but it's not, it's not the same thing because they never insulted the audience. And what Brie Larson did was insult as a huge, a huge portion of the audience. Yeah. Okay. She did. Yeah. She but, did. I like this one.
you can like it can subscribe if you do you do you don't you don't i don't care that last bit was something i bumbled onto recently john talks you're badass i'm putting this link his video at the bottom of my link this is not my information it is his I'm thankful that he posted this because it saved me a whole heap of little trouble. Because I remember seeing this and I, I figured I had to add that into my video. Disney, you could still fix this if you stop the agendas. I bid you all a good day.